After years of seeing Justin Bieber suffering and having to cancel tour dates, we finally know why. The other day in an Instagram post, he revealed he's been suffering from Lyme disease. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Tom Warcroft, a real life board certified physician specializing in helping people with chronic Lyme disease regain their health and regain their lives. You know, there's so much that we can learn from Justin's story, so why don't we just dive right on in. Justin's been getting all of this hate, you know, for the last three or four years for the way he looks, his public crying episodes. It, you know, it's when with this news, it's really a shame. You know, it sounds like so many people assumed that he was on drugs or had a psychiatric illness when really all along it was Lyme disease. Lyme often goes undiagnosed because many of its symptoms are common with flu-like illnesses. Things like fatigue, malaise, joint pain, muscle aches, you know, but the thing is, Bieber was breaking down in public crying. It looked like his, his entire body was falling apart. You know, and by his own report, Lyme affected his skin, his brain function, his energy levels, and his overall health. You know, these are symptoms that I see every day in patients with Lyme disease. And unfortunately, Justin's story is not all that uncommon. People report all sorts of symptoms, fatigue, brain fog, migratory joint pain, poor stamina, heart palpitations, numbness and tingling, headaches, stomach upset, changes in their bowel patterns, and psychiatric symptoms, including new onset depression, anxiety, rage, and even OCD. Many people report their sleep patterns are disrupted. This makes it harder for them to heal and they get even more fatigued. Now, interestingly, Justin mentioned that he had a severe case of chronic mono. So when you're exposed to the virus that causes mono, your body's supposed to put it to sleep. It should stay dormant in you, but it sometimes can get reactivated. And usually when this happens, it's when your system's under a tremendous amount of stress and then your immune system can't keep it asleep, very much like uh, the cases with shingles. So the problem is when people have chronic Lyme disease, it's undiagnosed. So persistent untreated Lyme, you can also get a concurrent reactivation of mono and now you've got multiple things going on. So I would keep an eye out for Justin's energy levels to, to improve, if not skyrocket, as he's getting his effective Lyme treatment. You know, Clever News put out a really nice video the other day reviewing pretty much everything that we currently know about what Justin's going through. Many of their Lyme facts are, are right on point. However, they report that Lyme is rare when in fact, Lyme is actually the number one vector-borne illness in the United States. The United States uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that there are over 400,000 new cases of Lyme disease each and every year. Unfortunately, this is a fact that the medical community often forgets or overlooks, and the diagnosis of Lyme can take quite a long time. You know, it sounds like Justin's been sick for at least a couple of years, and it wasn't until the second half of last year where he actually got diagnosed with Lyme. You know, and this is a story that I hear all the time. Vague flu-like symptoms, brain fog, joint pain, new onset depression. So you go to your doctor, you're told there's nothing wrong with you. Then they say, you know, it's probably all in your head. You're stressed out. You need to go see a therapist. You know, but meanwhile, there's this infectious bacteria gnawing away at your body and your brain. You know, I mean, no wonder Justin was depressed. I mean, he felt terrible. It sounds like his doctors were doing all they could, but they just couldn't figure out what was wrong with them. You know, I'm really glad to see that they just kept looking. They kept working on his behalf. But I do wish he didn't have to suffer so long. You know, Avril Lavigne knows what it's like to go through this as well. She's told us that she suffered for several years before getting a proper diagnosis of Lyme disease. And once she got going with proper treatment, things really turned around. And it sounds like Bieber is, going, is experiencing a similar thing right now. Get the right diagnosis, get on the treatments, and you can start feeling better. You know, with Lyme disease, the key really is early diagnosis and early treatment. And the longer time bet you know, between when you get infected, when you start the treatment, the longer it's going to take you to get better. So as Avril Lavigne said in a recent Instagram post, too many people have this disabling disease. And she goes on to say, but there is hope. And I totally agree. With celebrities like Avril, Justin, Shania Twain, Alec Baldwin, Yolanda Foster, Daryl Hall, and so many others, real, starting to share their stories of suffering with Lyme disease, 
Lyme is finally starting to get the press that it needs so that the medical community and the research community can work harder and be more aware of the need for early diagnosis and early treatment for each and every one of us. So as far as Bieber goes, it sounds like he's responding well to his treatment and he's actually planning a big tour now, so his energy must be coming up. This is great news for all his fans and for all of us who know that with proper diagnosis and proper treatment, Lyme disease can you know be cured. We can see improvements with treatment and resolution of your long-standing symptoms, but we gotta get the right diagnosis. Justin recently announced that he has a new docu-series highlighting his personal struggles. He's gonna drop this on his YouTube channel on January 27th. I'm super excited to learn more about what's going on and hopefully learn more about his progress. And I'm gonna be doing some reaction videos to really just dive deep into any of the medical points that come up so we can all learn more about Lyme disease. So thanks everyone for joining me. If you found this uh, helpful, educational, and entertaining, please click the like button below, share it with your friends. Uh, I'm gonna be coming out with those reaction videos, so certainly suggest you click subscribe and turn on your notifications. We're gonna be uh, diving really deeply into the different aspects of Lyme disease not only as they pertain to Justin's case, but just really diving into the education that you need for you and your family members so that you can help prevent Lyme disease. If someone is exposed, you know what to be looking for and you know how to get a good diagnosis and good treatment. My name is Dr. Tom Moorcroft. I'm a Lyme disease expert, and I'm so happy to be sharing my passion with you so that uh, hopefully you don't have to be suffering with Lyme disease. Thanks so much.